everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist, and today we're talking about desperation. Yeah. Okay, right, first off, I want to point this out. Anybody who doesn't know, um, there's probably about three or four of you out there. Uh, regulators and desperation come together to make this cool scene. Um, we will not be getting to regulators next. Uh, <laughs> that's because I will be doing all the Bachman books together after I do the short stories at the end of this series. There's a reason for that. We'll get to it when we get to it. And yes, we're skipping right over the green mile. Calm down. Calm down. Don't be down there raging in the, on your keyboard. There's a reason for it. I'm doing all of his novels first, and then I'm going back and I'm doing novellas, short stories, and then the Bachman books. Yes, they all tie into the Dark Tower in some way, at least my theories. Um, so, how does Desperation tie in to the Dark Tower series. That's easy. You got the Desatoya Mountains are mentioned in this one. Um, in fact, they're the mountains with the mine and everything. Uh, and in the Dark Tower, uh, the series, the Desatoya Mountains also show up there. Uh, so it's, it's really that simple. Now, whether or not it's the same place, I'm going to go ahead and say it is, um, because I, I think it, what is it, the... I think it's Wolves of the Kala, where Jake ends up in the Quonset Huts. I'm pretty sure that's the same mining site um, from this one. It's just farther in the future or a different version of it. I don't know. Tell me what you think down there. Um, I like this one, um, but I my I always tend to dis start to dislike it right around the time that Kali and Trajan, the, the cop that goes psycho, or that you know he's possessed, but the psycho cop in this one, it always goes downhill after he leaves the story. Um, I do like, the cougar scene is one of the, the mountain lion, whichever one it is, is one of the cooler scenes King's ever written in the movie theater. I really like that one. Um, but otherwise, I only end up around three stars with this one. I've read it about two, three, I think at least three times. Um, and it just, it's a different experience for me. Um, I didn't care for it much when I first read it uh, because there were a lot of, I, I was younger, and there were a lot of sexual themes that I just didn't, honestly, I just didn't understand. How the uh, the statues and everything were making Cindy, you know, anyways. <laughs> so, this one, uh, that's another thing. That's another tie-in. Cindy is in, but I've already talked about this. Cindy was in Rose Matter. Uh, she's at the, the women's home, and she ends up in a much bigger role in this one. Uh, she is the hitchhiker. I know somebody mentioned that they didn't they didn't know where Cindy was in this one. She was throughout the whole book. Uh, she's the one who hitchhikes. Uh, the I think the publicist picks her up. I'm really horrible with names. You guys are going to have to just forgive me with that one. Anywho, so did I miss anybody? Did I miss anything? Of course, we know Tack and Cantoy and all those things pop up in here. Those are just words. Those are tie-ins if you want to. Um, but or references. Uh, it, did I miss anything? If I did, let me know down there in the comments below. And until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.